so it turns out that there is no homeopathic alternative to bunion surgery. My doctor assures me it's a simple operation, but it will require me to stay off my foot for a few days. Uh, Miss Crokey, should we be taking notes? No, no, Gretchen. I'm simply telling you all this to explain that I'll be absent from school next week. You mean... That's right, TJ. I've arranged for a substitute. G-I-N-G-O! A substitute? Oh, man, this is some kind of wonderful. I'm almost looking forward to Monday. I don't get it. What's so great about a sub? Sheesh, Gus. What hole in the ground school did you transfer from? Yeah, Gus. Everybody knows there are three things every kid waits for all year. Snow days, fire drills, and substitute teachers. It's like a little slice of summer vacation in the middle of the year. I'm going to get it with the old chalk and eraser routine. That kills. I'm going to tell her Miss Crokey lets us eat in class. I'm going to reread War and Peace, only this time I won't have to rush. Me? I'm going to dust off my old pea shooter. Whoever this substitute is, the woman is spitball bait. <laughs> If the sub calls on you, use a fake name. I'm going with Hugh Belcher. Excellent plan. She may even think she came to the wrong room. I'm calling a 10 a.m. book drop. Good idea. And when I give this signal, everyone get up and move one seat to the right. What have you got playing, Gus? Me? Well, uh, I mean, people want. You're a madman, Griswold. Good morning, pupils. I'm here to introduce your substitute teacher. Bring her on, baby. Our guest teacher comes to us following successful stints in Southeast Asia, the former Yugoslavia, and the Bronx, New York. Please welcome your substitute for the entire week. This is gonna be sweet. Mr. E. Hey, that's no girl. They call me Mr. E, and I'm here to instruct. Mr. E, that's not a name, that's a letter. What's the rest of your tag, subby? That information comes at a terrible price. Are you willing to pay it? Well, everything seems to be in order. Have a great week, kids. <laughs> okay, one thing we're going to do this week is work on your vocabulary. Today's word is respect. R E S P E. This better be your homework. <gasps> Whoa, zero fear. Your teacher left a detailed lesson plan, but I'm going to do things a little differently. I don't recall excusing anyone. Uh, Mr. E, it's recess. Your point? Well, it's time for us to take a break. You know, stretch your legs, get a little exercise. Get a little exercise, huh? Wow. Uh, I shouldn't have had that ninth flapjack. My sinuses. I haven't had this much physical activity since ever. Okay, now let's have some drop and rolls. Oh, oh man, this swamps. The one time of the day that's supposed to be ours, and he's got us acting like Marines. Hey, come on, guys. Maybe this is good. I mean, face it. If you were in better shape, I wouldn't have to carry you all a kickball. Now, this young man has some stamina. Watch and learn. He's got what it takes. Let's show him some jumping jacks, son. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh. Now, the rest of you, jump those jacks. You'll be proud to know you're doing the same exercise as the Army Rangers do. Great. I mean, I thought we were preparing for fifth grade, not war. That's clever, kid, but not too smart. Sorry, Teach. The jumping jacks must have rattled my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you have quite a following. Got a name, Joker boy? TJ Detweiler. Well, I got my eye on you, Detweiler. You got trouble written on you like a vacancy sign on the Nowhere Motel. If I were you, I'd watch my step. It means you working by yourself on a project you care about. A project that stirs your soul. I don't care what you choose for your project. I just want it done well. On Friday, you'll make a formal presentation to me and your peers. That gives you four days to get the job done. Until then, I'll be available to help anyone with a question. Does anyone have a question? Yes? May we begin now? You'd better. Oh boy, chance to pursue our views. Independent study is fun. It's a chance to grow. Why don't you get on the bus, boy? Maybe I don't trust the driver. Well, you better find some faith, boy, because the clock is ticking and Friday's judgment day. I already tore down the Berlin Wall, brick by brick. I heard they touched him from the Secret Service for using a steely gaze on the president. Well, I heard he made a kid repeat fifth grade just for stammering during a book report. <laughs> oh, you guys impressed too easy. The guy's just a sub like any other. I mean, what happened to sub week? The old chalk and the eraser routine. Fake names, the book drop. You're gonna let that get ruined by some guy without a first name? What's so great about him? Look! Where are you hiding your lunch money, geek? That's it, Buster! I've told you a dozen and a half times to leave that kid alone! Now put him down before I... Huh? Stand down. 
I'll handle this. If there's anything in this world I hate, it's a bully. Now I'm asking you nice. Return my pupil to his full and upright position. You need to change, boy. And there's only one way you're gonna learn how. What are you gonna do to me, mister? It's what you're gonna do. You're gonna write me an essay all about how it's wrong to lean on people. Unless it's in the direct geopolitical interests of the United States of America. And you're gonna write it in the dirt with your finger, starting now. Well, Clyde, what are you waiting for? Son, you can't be a victim all your life. You gotta learn to take a stand. Now, if you're willing to put in some time after school, I can show you two simple moves that'll disable any bully, anytime, anyplace. I'm there. <laughs> Problem, kid? It's my poem. I just can't seem to make it work. Let me give it a once-over. Hmm. Yeah. Nice imagery. I like your pace, kid, but the rhyme scheme in the bottom half of the poem doesn't match the top. Hey, you're right. Also, I like your use of creeping moss to represent the passage of time, but lose that moon and June garbage in the second stanza. You're better than that. Really? You think? Oh, yeah. You got some chops, kid. Wow, did you hear that, Deej? I got chops. I've been telling you that for years. Mr. Reefitch, my poem. Inside that stunned facade is the soul of a dreamer. You mean dreamy? He's like a total trendsetter. A fashion icon. A style visionary for the new millennium and beyond. Scandalous. Mr. E seems to have affected everyone in school. Yeah, just like that flu bug last year. What's with you, man? Nothing. Teach, you gotta start working on a project. Yeah, Mr. E's gonna cream you if you don't have something ready on Friday. I might add, the probability of you concluding fourth grade without a completed project is low. A very low indeed. Leave me alone, will ya? I don't need anyone telling me what to do. Not you guys, and not some suit with a letter for a name. But Teach! Hey, I know what I'm doing. So these pieces, I call them pugilists, represent a marriage of two of my greatest passions, fighting and metalcraft. Thanks for the opportunity, Teach. Thus, dear Buttercup, be thou free to mend thy faithful symmetry. Yeah! Thank you, Third Straight! On the front of each trading card, I put a picture of one of my friends. And on the back, I put all their kickball stats, plus an interesting fact you might not know about the player. Take TJ, for example. Did everyone know that T.J. Detweiler is actually a really great guy? Really, really great? Hi! When I realized the key was alternating magnetic fields, well, the rest was easy. I was able to invent this. It's a machine that produces more energy than it takes in. It has the potential to revolutionize the world as we know it. What's going on? Mr. E, I hope the fact that the government has quashed my research won't hurt my final grade. It happens, Wendler. Count on an A. Well, that's everybody. Everybody who participated, that is. You've all done very good work. I'm satisfied. As for you, Deadweiler, I hope you find your seat comfortable. You'll be using it for years to come. I don't think so. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I have a project, too. Then stand and deliver. All this week, Mr. E here's been bossing us around, taking away our recess, forcing us to do independent study. And I guess he won all you guys over. But there's something I want to remind you about, and her name is Miss Grokey. She did everything for us this year, from teaching us about healing herbs to helping us with our time stables. She's always there for us day after day. Now she's out sick for a week, and you guys forget all about her. Hey, that's your business, but I can't forget. So I made her this. It's a get well card. It's from me and anyone else who wants to sign it. This is my independent study project, and I don't care who likes it. Deadweiler, that project you did, it touched me. It did? I had you all wrong, kid. Sure, you're spirited, but you're loyal. I respect that. Well, I gotta admit, I wouldn't have made this card if it hadn't been for you. And it was one of the best things I ever did. Maybe you're not such a bad teacher after all. Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. Hey, Mr. E. Think you like to sign my card? Grokey, you got a heck of a class. E. Say, Mr. E, there's something that's been bugging me. Could you tell me what the E stands for? No. 
You are so cool.